so what we're going to do is just change some basic appearance settings uh, so it's just how your desktop looks and acts basically so to do that we need to go into the system tab up the top here uh, from here you control obviously preferences uh, which is pretty much anything basic and then you've got administration which is your more advanced stuff uh, so file sharing uh, some more advanced network tools uh, drivers you may need to change those at some point uh, and then to go into your appearance settings just click appearance under preferences really simple and from here you've got presets that you can choose from uh, I think the default is ambience or dust I can't remember which and of course if you find one you like you can customize it so you just click on it go customize and then you can change uh, pretty much anything about it really so you can uh, toggle between a lot more presets for its general appearance, you can change the colours of things individually, uh, you can change the, the the type of window border that you have, uh, there's quite a lot of them, you can also change how the icons appear, um, if you're really picky, and then for the really picky among you, you've got your pointers, you can change between red ones, black ones, you can change the size, all that sort of stuff, uh, of course you can change the desktop background, lots of them, and you can also use slideshows, uh, like in Windows 7. Fonts, you can change the font and font size, whether it's bold, um, italicized, underlined for, uh, again, more or less anything. And then visual effects is stuff like, uh, so for example, I want to move this, it goes all wobbly. Um, that's what extra will give you. Normal will just give you sort of standard stuff like that. That's a normal effect, how it sort of goes in and out of the dock down the bottom. And then none is just really basic for low performance machines really, uh, so like netbooks and old computers.